Okay, so I'm continuing to try and use AI to make money in ways that are like, in my opinion, non-conventional, but maybe others think it's conventional. And I'm trying to figure out ways to like sell the output of AI. So I create a series of, of prompts or commands, and then those commands output text, and that text can be sold. I know there's tons of way to utilize AI to make chatbots and that kind of stuff, but I think that that's kind of like, maybe not saturated, but just there's a lot of hype around that kind of product. And so, I don't know, I go on like product hunt and I see how everything's a new chatbot, um, but I don't necessarily see how those are gonna like result in products that can be sold. And so maybe that's just, I mean, definitely, it's my own personal bias from like doing e-commerce stuff over the years and doing product sales and that kind of stuff and that kind of marketing. But um, what I am personally intrigued by is how can we use these existing AI systems to create products that we can sell? And so I was thinking about it last night and just this morning as well, like what is an output I can sell? Because I don't think that, maybe I'm wrong, I'm still like playing with jasper.ai right now um, to see how that can, how well that can write content. But I, I don't really think that you can like write a novel using AI. I think it's gonna feel hollow and it's not gonna have the kind of social connections that really and still like a good, you know, what make you want to turn the next page. Um, and so what we're working with now is simple, basic stuff that can be just like rehashed over and over again and then sold. I'm thinking like, can AI produce like crossword puzzles? Can AI produce Sudoku? And then we do print on demand stuff. Um, I, ha I forever have had a, a Kindle um, print on, or not print on demand, KDP, which is like how you upload ebooks basically to sell on Amazon. I've had an account there. I've never actually uploaded books. Even the book that I published was a physical copy. It wasn't, nothing, nothing was like ebook about it. Um, so I probably should go around and get that PDF and upload that at some point. Um, <laughs> probably pretty, pretty, uh, a, a low amount of profit to make off that. It's, you know, 10 years old. And I think pretty much every copy that's, well, that's not true. I shouldn't say that because there, there's always more people looking to read books, I guess. Um, but I'm just hesitant to believe that like this 10 year old book I made is worth investing time in when the audience is so niche. What I'm instead doing is this is where we're at, right? Creative writing prompts. So I think that a really good uh, use of artificial intelligence is just to spin out creative writing prompts. Now the issue is, is there's duplicates both thematically and on the line level. Uh, and I want, I think it has to be like easily over a hundred, maybe even a thousand to make it seem worthwhile. And so the process I'm going through is write out the creative writing prompts um, and I'm giving it the parameters of niche, of tone, uh, of what elements to include and how regularly to include them. And then I have to figure out a way to format these. Personally, I think probably you should have an ebook format and a physical book format. The physical book is like actually a journal and so maybe that means less prompts overall because having a thousand prompts with 2000 pages of, of line paper to write on seems a bit overwhelming. And so maybe the, the, the physical version of the book is only the top 100 prompts and the ebook version of, of this is, um, you know, an ebook and every page has one or two or four or 10 prompts on it. And that's how, you, how the uh, people who are looking for this creative inspiration, they can just go through the ebook, find what they want go to a random page, who knows, and then maybe that's, you know, a way to create a community around it as well. You know, everyone writes their own example of the prompt, uh, and, and, you know, maybe that means that this is not a, a product you should sell in terms of, like, making money off of it, but then you corral around everyone's prompts, and you publish that book as, like, a crowdsourced, uh, you know, book of, of, of science fiction novellas. I don't know. Th that's what I'm thinking. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to be updating you guys on this, you know, as we go forward, really all I've got so far is my 700 plus relatively unique prompts. I know that they're unique on like the line level. I've not gone through and, uh, read them, the you know, to get thematic, um, redundancy out of it, but hopefully that's what we can use the next AI, you know, tool for. Um, I would love to hear your comments on this, what you think it can be used for. Just a little, you know, update doing these every day of the month. If you like them, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like them, what should I do for the next video? Because I would love to hear your feedback. See you guys later.